Break Night, January 13th, 2018. Welcome, everybody. I am your break host and resident wax cracker. I am Christopher. Welcome to Crack and Wax. And we're doing a little bit of a, a newer format for us. This is more of a traditional format for other breakers, but uh, since I don't uh, break in nearly the type of volume or as often as uh, the other bigger uh, breakers do, this isn't something I'm uh, I'm used to. So we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a try here. So instead of scheduling one particular break uh, for one session of breaking, uh, we'll break as much as we can. Um, as a lot of you know, I. I just, swiped up a whole bunch of different boxes and made a bunch of different breaks out of them. We do have two completely sold out. Those are the two breaks you're staring at (laughs) right in front of you on the screen there. Uh, One of them is the Bowman Mega Draft. The other one is the Elite King. So the Bowman uh, Mega Draft obviously is going to be a mega box of 2017 Bowman as well as a jumbo hobby box of Bowman Draft. That'll be the first break we do. Uh, The second one, Elite Kings. Obviously that's going to be uh, 2017 Panini Elite Extra Edition paired with a box of 2017 Panini Diamond Kings. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Hero Habit, he's uh, in the chat room with us. If I remember correctly, you kind of liked Diamond Kings. I did as well. So um, I, have, I haven't ripped open a mega box. I know the big draw to me- the mega box was that it was pulled off of shelves early because of the Otani deal. Um, and now people are overcharging for these boxes, but... Uh, I, I liked Bowman Draft. I really liked Diamond Kings. I thought uh, Elite Extradition was going to be the sleeper of uh, of the products from 2017. And uh, that's basically why I'm calling these the best of 2017 breaks. I bought a bunch of what I thought represented the best of what Tops and Panini had to offer. So uh, as you can see on the chat screen here, we've got uh, Z Grizz. Uh, he's in the chat room. Hero Habit is in the chat room as well. Uh, gentlemen, uh, if you can hear me... Uh, Say hey, say what's up. Okay, Hero Habit says, I enjoyed DK very much this year. Yeah, as did I, so that'll be a fun one. So, All right, well, before we get into it, we do have a few spots left. So if you are interested in grabbing uh, some spots, uh, like I said, we will break as much as we can tonight. Um, Our Heritage and Archives break, we've only got two spots remaining on that one. As well as our Ginter Queen. Only two spots left on that one. So there's a very good chance by the time that we're done breaking these two breaks here that we'll have two more breaks to do by the end of the night. So uh, not only that, but if if for some reason this happens to sell uh, completely out, we've got our five box high end super random uh, 20 spots remaining there out of 30. You get one random team per box. So we're going to really mix it up for the high end there. So be sure to go to crackamax.com slash shop if you want to grab some spots. We will break more tonight if those spots do sell out. Any that do not sell out tonight, we'll just break on whatever the first Saturday is uh, that rolls around after it finally does sell out. So, Okay, let's start with our Bowman Mega Draft. And these two breaks that we're doing first, they're both hybrid breaks. Uh, if you're new to Crack and Wax, when I mean hybrid break i mean you pick one team and then you get two additional random teams so the first thing i need to do is i need to assign our team so let's get on screen here load up our bowman uh, mega draft so these are the teams that are remaining and these are the teams that were picked so the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go back to remaining teams and I'll that's what I do first. I'll shake these up, go to random.org, and I usually randomize three times, once, twice, three times. Make sure to select the entire name of the team so I don't get the ubs instead of the cubs. We'll go back to our team assignments. We'll paste those in there. Now I will select the 10 spot owners. We'll go back to random.org. Slap them in there. Randomize once, twice, three times. And now what I like to do is I will assign only the first 10 teams that came up. Now I'm going to take the remaining 10 teams. We'll shake those up a little bit as well. Random, random, random. 
This could make for a very long night of breaks, and I'm actually looking forward to seeing just how long <laughs> this night could end up being. So that was the assignment for the, the back end, the last 10 teams. Now let's see who ends up owning them. There's one, there's two eventually. Okay, and three. All right, so I like to make things look all nice and pretty just because that's that's my nature. I'm lame like that. And now, here are the assignments for our Bowman Mega Draft. Alex, I know you're in the chat room. You've got the Blue Jays, Indians, Brewers, Nats, Marlins, and Royals. Chris M., you've got the Braves, Reds, and Orioles. Deb U., you've got the Phillies, Rockies, Mets. Diane, you've got a big chunk of them. You've got the Dodgers, Red Sox, Twins, Yankees, Cubs, White Sox, Rays, A's, Pirates, Tigers, Giants, and Cardinals. Richard, you've got the Angels, D-backs, and Rangers. And Vilma, you've got the Astros, Mariners, and Padres. All right, now I'm going to make my team board to put up on screen so we can kind of keep track of uh, hits and anything else that might be cool. Oops. And that should be the team board. There it is. All right. Hey, Kevin's here. Kevin, what is going on, sir? Checking out the chat room there. <laughs> now we're starting to get cluttered in here. I'm going to have to shut a couple of these off. So, All right. So we've got our uh, team assignments. Let's crack that wax. I'm going to do the mega box first. Inspect the box here. Make sure th everything looks good. Looks nice and sealed. These all came from blowout cards, by the way. Uh, seven packs inside, uh, five 2017 Bowman baseball packs, plus two exclusive Mega Box Chrome pa uh, packs. Those are the ones that we're going to be looking for any Show Otanis. If Show Otani is pulled, um, that will go, of course, to the Angels because uh, that's who he signed with. Uh, any other international players, we will refer to any major league teams that they may have signed with or may have played with beforehand. Um, if they do not go to any assigned teams, I will randomly assign them myself. And uh, joy is knowing that you actually remembered to bring a garbage bag to your freaking break. So, <laughs> Especially with uh, the potential amount of packs that we're going to be doing here. All right, so... Ah, coupon book. Well, I'll just have to... Uh, Dollar off purchase of three Bowman single packs, and it's no longer valid. So, well, who wants this? <laughs> One, two. So those are the two Chrome packs. Uh, we'll do those last. One, two, three, four, five. So, of course, we've got the uh, Saints in town, which makes... My job, very busy. They're uh, playing the Vikings in a playoff game tomorrow. No more Mazzara. We'll just kind of talk about the more interesting cards, uh, like this Dylan Cousins Chrome. And this Drew Jackson Chrome. Zegris says, it's only been, what, three months since you did bring garbage back? This... <laughs> Yeah, you know, you could probably go back through some of these uh, break videos and actually track when the last time was I actually remember to bring a garbage bag. Aaron Judge rookie card. Dansby Swanson rookie. Got a Ronnie L. Routis Bowman Chrome. And an Andrew Sopko. I think the last time we did, uh, well, there's Cole Stewart. Last time we did uh, Bowman Break, I th think I uh, jokingly called him Shopko. Of course, probably every uh, other person that pulled that card probably made the same joke. Of course, I don't even know where there is a Shopko anymore. 
Scherzer, Hernandez, Kutch. Uh, see, just a slight, slight little. Now, it's not a ding, really, but it's a miscut at the top there of Wilmer, Wilmer Becerra. Grant Holmes, Chrome. Abraham Gutierrez, Chrome. Eloy Jimenez. Not expecting any hits out of the Bowman Mega Box. We're expecting our hits, obviously, out of the Bowman Draft Box. Three Chrome Autos from that one. Of course, obvious bonus if we do pull any hits out of this. Nick Birdie, Chrome. Cole Stewart, Chrome. Ah, Twins Hot Box. Followed by another Twin card. Uh, Fernando Romero. Let's see, who had the Twins again? Let's check that out. Diane, well, you're getting uh, quite a few Twins out of just the Mega Box here. Congratulations, I guess. <laughs> All right, this is the final standard Bowman pack out of this box. I'm going to fix my camera here. That's a little better. That looks a little bit more crisp, right? All right. Kevin Newman Chrome and a Luis Almanzar Chrome. All right, that does it for the standard Bowman packs. Let's uh, crack into those two Mega Box Chrome. You got the uh, the tread fractors or tractor fractors, I think, is what I ended up with uh, for a name. Chase Vallot, Bo Bichetti, Kyle Funkhauser. Stone Garrett, Austin Dean, and G Day or JT Riddle. G Day, what the hell is that? G Day, <laughs> and a purple of Glaber Torres, Justice Sheffield, and Clint Frazier. That is numbered. That is ninety-eight of two fifty, and that's Diane's card for the Yankees. Final Bowman Mega Box pack. Mitch Keller, Abraham Gutierrez, Rafael Devers, Antonio Senzatella, and a Manny Margot rookie favorites. Oh, this is a slick looking rookie card. Has the tractor fractor. You can barely see it, but it's in there. I don't know if you can. Yeah, it's there. All right, that does it for the Bowman Mega Box. I'm going to check to see uh, if any more spots have gone. And it looks like, ooh, it looks like we have one Ginter Queen that just went. So I got to update my breakboard here real quick. If you want to just hang tight for a moment here. We'll keep everything on screen so it doesn't look like I'm <laughs> missing any of the cards here. So while I've got the uh, chat room up here, uh, I, ex Hero Habit is also known as Tony, so I'm just going to call him Tony. Tony, I'm not sure if I've ever spoken with you about this, but are you even a fan of football? And uh, gosh, it wouldn't be the Oakland Raiders, would it? <laughs> Packers are my team, and obviously this year was a very, very sad year for me. And it's, it's not that I'm not rooting for the Vikings. You'd think that I would. Um, and I and I am rooting for the Vikings while they're in the playoffs. Um, I think it would be a, an amazing thing for them to end up in the Super Bowl, win or lose. Um, I think it would be great. All right, so we got one Ginter Queen spot remaining the Mets were just taken by my friend Alex O get this updated on the fly here 
Make sure I don't miss anybody's spots. And then we'll get back to breaking here. Fantastic. All right. So go back here and make sure we got everybody. Yep, we got everybody. All right. We might as well uh, get cracking again. Evan is here. Hello, Evan. Let's uh, bring that chat room up here again just so we can catch up here. Oh, Richard's in here too. Just making it here. Can you pop up the team list so we can see our random teams real quick? Yes, sir. Teams are right there. Now that's for the Bowman Mega. On uh, Richard, you've got the Angels and the D-backs and the Rangers, it looks like. Evan says, hey, watching the game. All right. How is the game going? Anyway, I, I should have had it on the background if I were thinking about it. Hero Habit says, I watch almost no football. Was brought up a Niners fan, but in recent years, I paid more attention to the Raiders. Ugh. Well... Here, and I cut it before I went through everything. Let me uh, take the chat win window and the teams down so we can take a look at the box here, make sure everything looks... All right. What time is the Ginter Queen break? The Ginter Queen break will happen after it sells out. And I believe there's only one spot left. So if that spot gets taken tonight... And I assume it will. We will break that after the Elite Kings break. Elite Kings comes up after this one. I feel like I just did this <laughs> Bowman trap. I'm going to keep these boxes because Crafty Me has to uh, keep these sorted. Well, 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 well. Okay. Here we go. 32 cards per pack. We're looking for three chrome autographs out of Bowman Draft. All right. Again, I will only be announcing the cards of uh, any real significance here just to kind of keep this at a nice pace. Brendan McKay card in there. We've got a Bubba Thompson Chrome, Jake Berger, Anderson Espinoza. We've got a Refractor of Riley Adams. Get that closer to the camera. And a Carter Kaboom. And a Nick Senzel, Defining Moments, as well as a Desmond Lindsay, and Jose Tavares, and a Lucas Ursig Chrome. Well, hello, Charlie. Zegra is in the chat room, says he just filled the other two breaks. Um, <laughs> and if that's the case, give me one second, because my website does not uh, shut off the hybrid. So I will put the uh, chat. Well, I'll keep the chat window down just so you guys don't think that I'm messing with the cards here. We'll just leave it like this. Let me see. Alex, did you sell us out? Not yet, but I am uh, keeping my eye. Now, oh, wait a second now. Ah, there we go. PayPal says no, but my website says yes, and I'm going to go on my website. And that's what matters. All right, so I'm going to shut off. Uh, we are doing the Ginter Queen and the Heritage and Archives break tonight as well. So let me uh, shut this off of the website so no one tries to buy any more breaks. And then uh, I'll stop doing that for a moment. And then we'll get back to the break. We'll just we'll just go straight through after that. So let's go into the Heritage Archives. I'm just going to narrate as I'm doing this. We'll edit this in the website.
Well, it's telling me I gotta wait to make sure the order goes through first. Okay, well, we'll do that then. <laughs> Very good, we'll do that then. Okay, now I'll just, we'll go through this pack here and then we'll get back to it and see if the orders have gone through and then I'll shut those down. Okay. Blaine Enlow, Chrome, Will Gaddis, Chrome, Clark Schmidt, Matt Manning, looks like a refractor. We've got a recommended viewing insert of Pavin Smith and Drew Ellis. Oh, there we go. First autograph is a blue wave of Corey Abbott for the Cubs. That goes to Diane. And that is number 23 of 150. So congratulations. That's the first hit of the night. I love the Blue Waves. I love them. I love them. I love them. Lazarito Armenteros, Justice Sheffield, Isan Diaz. That finishes out the Chromes. All right. Now, let me check the website to see if it thinks that the orders have gone through. Uh, and not yet. Okay. Well, then, that's all fine and good. Well, we'll just do another pack then while we are waiting for the website to update itself. Yeah, Marathon Break Night is uh, exactly. He loves watching Chris crack that wax. Well, I love that he loves that. And I tell Charlie that LQ and Chris love that Charlie loves watching us crack that wax. We'll put that up in the screen here. Just so LQ believes that someone actually said that. So when she comes and watches the replay. Yeah, right. She's not watching the replay. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll uh, get going here. Connor Uselton, I'm just going to guess is his name. Uh, Drew Ellis. Jeter Downs. Jacob Pearson, Refractor. We've got a blue paper base of Hagen Danner. Refractor of David Thompson. Recommended viewing of Brendan McKay and Taylor Walls. Tyler Ivey. Matthew Watley, Bo Bichetti. That's it for the Chromes. All right. Okay, checking the website again. I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, that's Zegras. Uh, for my rep website is just telling me that your order is pending here. I'm gonna actually click into it and see. Or, yeah, pending. It says pending payment. Did you uh? Did you finish the transaction? Keeps telling me pending payment because uh, I, I don't want to close it down and then you end up losing your spots. But then I also don't want to oversell it. And I suppose that would be the least of the bad options. I, there's not really. Okay. Well, I figured it yet. I just not sure why it's hanging there is. I'm not worried about it. You've got the spots. Don't worry about it. You're going to have them. I just, I don't want to keep pausing this for my, my damn website. Cash Case, Ricardo De La Torre, James Marinan, Blake Hunt, Refractor of Usniel Diaz, Jorge Mateo, Defining Moments, and a nice green of Ricardo De La Torre. And that's numbered 43 of 99. Twins, I believe, was Diane, correct? Yes, Diane has this nice green Ricardo De La Torre.
Trevor Clifton, Luis Ortiz. Gordon. See, now some of these guys aren't even on the same team anymore. Speaking of Kevin Matan. <laughs> Zegra says, just keep going. I'll let you know when the receipt comes. LOL. Yeah, well, that would... <laughs> there, I got the confirm from the website. Okay, so let's take a, a second to shut down those brakes to make sure we don't oversell. Well, not according to my website, but no big deal. No big deal. Okay, let's uh, go and get into another pack here. Well, someone said they were watching the game. The uh, uh, Titans and Patriots, I'm guessing. No, wait, that is, or is that later tonight? It's the Falcons and the Eagles right now, right? Who's playing right now? <laughs> JB Bukowskis, Chrome. Brendan McKay, Chrome. Stuart Fairchild. Corey Abbott. This is, believe it or not, a paper parallel. This is the silver. Uh, 168, 499. These are really tough to tell. Uh, the only reason I knew uh, that it was is because it was stuck in the middle of the Chrome. So that gave it away. Um, Eloy Jimenez. White Sox. For some reason, I was thinking he was a Cub. Why did I think that? Um, that's a refractor. Francisco Rios refractor. Kyle Wright defining moments. Adonis Medina and AJ Puck and Christian Stewart. Atlanta's up 10-9 to over Philly. Ooh, that is a close one. Uh, I hate to say it, but I don't like Philly's odds. And Philly, man, they were the team to beat all year long and no, Ugh. I feel bad. I feel really bad because I got I've got so many Philly friends out there that I was willing to root for over the Vikings, but uh, now this Packer fan who lives in Minnesota just basically has no choice. I I do have uh, Atlanta fans that I could be rooting for as well, but. Corey Abbott, Matt Tabor, Luis Gonzalez, Dylan Busby Refractor, Angel Perdomo Refractor, and another autograph. This is Stuart Fairchild. This is a base chrome for the Reds. Reds tonight, at least for this break, goes to Chris M. Speaking of Atlanta fans, congratulations, Chris M. Non-numbered base auto of Stuart Fairchild for the Reds. Very nice. Congratulations, sir. TJ Friedel, Will Smith, Jorge Mateo. That does it for the Chrome cards. Jorge Mateo again. Yeah, okay. I was thinking for some reason that I thought the Chrome card was a different team for Jorge Mateo. I... I don't know why I'm <laughs> thinking that. That would be so strange. Okay, now let's see if my website is finally caught up with PayPal here. Still not caught up to PayPal. Well, let's see what my email says. My email says that I have... I have a payment from Alex T, but my website doesn't think so. That is weird. Oh, well. Let's keep on trucking. Let's keep on trucking. So I always go into a break, and I, I'm thinking, well, what's what's it going to be tonight? What What's going to be the thing that I'm going to be hung up on tonight? And I, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be my website was uh, slow to recognize a purchase, for crying out loud. Chris, uh, Christopher Cece, D.L. Hall, Tyler Freeman, refractor of Noah Bremer, and a purple refractor of Luis Ortiz, number 202 of 250. And the Brewers are Alex T., Q 
Keston Hura and Tristan Lutz recommended viewing. Another Brewer card. Anderson Tejeda, Wyatt Mills, and Peyton Remy. Alex says, this time it's the website. Yep. <laughs> you know, I wish I could do advanced coding and stuff like that. I just... That's what I should have gone to school for. Not graphic design. All right. Ernie Clement... Kramer Robertson, Alex Scherf, Jacob Gonzalez, Purple Paper of Seth Elledge. That is number 25 of 250 for the Mariners. That's Vilma J. Congratulations there, Vilma. Uh, refractor of Joey Morgan. Ooh, an MLB draft history, Derek Jeter. Franklin Perez, Fernando Tatis Jr., Corey Sedlock. I do want to remind everybody that uh, it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday. So these will not be shipped out until Tuesday. Which is fine by me because that gives me an extra day to sort. I, I got it done. Yeah, this is basically like a create your own uh, case break tonight. So, uh, which is awesome. I really, uh, I can't believe that we were able to do this. So let's, let's. So thank you so much, everybody, for hopping on these breaks. Come on, WooCommerce, push that order through. All right, not gonna happen. All right, what's next? What's next? Where's my chat room? All right, there's my chat room. By the way, Alex, that's what she said. <laughs> All right, Chrome starts with Jacob Gonzalez, Tyler Freeman, Joe Perez. That is a miscut freaking card. You see that? The edge there? Boy, that they uh, messed that up a little bit. And that, that is a refractor. Justice Sheffield, refractor. This one is also a refractor. Recommended viewing. I didn't happen to notice. Yeah, I didn't think the other ones were... This was a 207 of 250, this Phillies refractor. Yeah, the other inserts weren't refractors at all. And the Phillies, I believe, goes to Deb U. Yep, Deb U, you've got the, uh, so far, the only insert refractor I've seen so far tonight. Roy Halliday, MLB draft history. Cal Quantrill, Freddie Tarnock, Nick Rackett. Alex with the sage advice, because he wants me to just to get on with it, and I agree, uh, says, finish the packs, then check before you get too worried. Yes, sir. The voice of reason. Yeah, the holiday. I'm, I'm hoping to pull at some point, doesn't have to be tonight, but at some point, uh, a holiday Phillies auto for my friend Deb. And a holiday Blue Jays auto for you, Alex. So hopefully at some point, like I said, it doesn't have to be today, but at some point it would be nice. Tommy Doyle, KJ Harrison, Brett Netzer, Heliot Ramos, uh, that's a refractor. Yu Cheng Chang, refractor. And an autograph, a class of 2017 Refractor insert auto of Brian Miller for the Miami Marlins. This is the third and final hit out of Bowman Draft. Let's see if that's numbered. That is numbered 247 of 250.
Marlins goes to that is Alex. Congratulations, Alex. I don't think we pulled an insert auto the last time. Oh, look at that. Astros acquire Garrett Cole from the Pirates. Huh. How about that? Well, congratulations, Alex. And Dylan Car Carlson's behind that. Jordan Sheffield, Marcos Diplon. Now, let me tell you about that. Garrett Cole going to the Astros. Uh, the Yankees say that they don't have much uh, money to spend. There was something else that happened, and I can't remember what it was. But all these things that keep happening keep making me feel more and more hopeful that the Twins are eventually going to land you, Darvish. Whether that's a good thing or not, I have no idea. But I can at least say, and Twins fans can at least say, oh, there's a, a Royce Lewis for Diane. Congratulations, Diane. Uh, we can at least say that uh, the Twins' new front office set out to do something, and they freaking did it. Jacob Pearson, Riley Adams, Dylan Busby, Gavin Sheets, Refractor, Lazarito Armenteros Refractor, Fernando Tatis Jr., Bowman Defining Moments Insert, Ian Anderson, Freddie Peralta, Forrest Whitley. And that's, uh, to me, that's really indicative of what this team may be capable of in the future. They're actually making some interesting decisions that weren't made before under Terry Ryan and Gardenhire. Hero Habit says, Yanks don't want Darvish bad enough to go over the luxury tax threshold. And that's fine. That, that just gives the Twins a better chance at landing you Darvish. Now, the Twins took somebody. Who did they take today? Oops, I'm going to find that. Uh, Addison Reed. So the Twins signed Addison Reed today. And I, I don't think that uh, that's going to deter them from getting, from going after you, Darvish. By the way, this is the final pack of this break, of the Bowman Mega Draft break. And we've got an upside down card, which doesn't always mean anything, but I'm going to check codes. And the codes are the same, so that it was just a pack out abnormality. No big deal. Keston Hura, Brewers Chrome, Clark Schmidt. Blake Hunt, Kevin Merrill, Refractor, Taylor Trammell, Refractor. And we've got a nice sky blue, I believe, uh, ref uh, Refractor of Nick Allen for the A's. That's 160 of 399. That'll go to Diane as well. Not a bad looking card. Jake Berger and Gavin Sheets recommended viewing for the Rockies, Scott Kingery, and Will Benson. So that does it for the Bowman Mega Draft Break. Lots of excellent color, cool looking um, parallels, refractors. And hey, we did pretty well in the autographs. Only one of them was a base auto. So we've got the uh, Brian Miller insert auto. That was Alex's. Uh, Stuart Fairchild for the Reds. That was the only base auto. I believe that was Chris M. And then Corey Abbott with the Blue Wave. And I believe that was Diane. So Cubs, Diane, yep. Reds, Chris M. And the Marlins was Alex T. All right. Well, that was break number one. All right, so I'm going to take the team board off here, and I'm going to keep all these cards separated so that I can assort them appropriately later.
And then we will move on to Elite Kings. That's the Elite Extra Edition and Diamond Kings break. That is also a hybrid break, just like this one was. And then uh, before we get into that, I'm going to double check that the website has indeed processed that payment. I'll get those breaks taken off the website. Oh my God, I totally should have just punked the room right now and, and, and like had something set off to the side so that I could like pretend that I tripped and fell and threw all the cards over hell. <laughs> ah. Oh man, you guys would have hated me. But then I would I would have brought the box back to show you the cards that nothing actually happened. But <laughs> All right, that was break number one. Break number two, that will consist of one box of Diamond Kings and one box of Elite Extra Edition. We're going to get, oh, two autograph cards or memorabilia cards out of Diamond Kings and eight autographs and two memorabilia cards out of Elite Extra Edition, which makes me want to break Diamond Kings first. But before I do that, I'm going to check my website here, see how we're doing with that last order. Hey, it went through, Alex. All right, now I believe you. <laughs> oh, it's all in good fun. All right, so if you don't mind hanging back for a second here, uh, chat amongst yourselves. I'm going to get this uh, updated and taken off the website. Um, this would just take me maybe upwards of five minutes. Uh, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done. I'm going to bring up the chat room for myself just so I can see what you bastards are talking about. And I will also bring the chat room up in the room here so people can see what we are talking about. All right, let's try that again. Ugh. Did it in the wrong order. Okay, let's try this again. You go up. Now you go up. Okay, here we go. All right, so let me see. Heritage and archives. We will change this to stock zero. Okay. And we will change the graphic so that it shows sold out, just so people aren't like, hey, doesn't say it's sold out. Okay, that's Heritage Archives. And now to do Ginter Queen. Ginter Queen. Now, Hero Habit, you're you're well aware of uh, <laughs> you 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 taught me a little bit about uh, WooCommerce, and uh, this isn't as easy as I would have liked it to have been, uh, especially on my website. I I do like it a lot better than the old way I was doing it. A lot a lot of things are streamlined, but I also seem to I don't know there are a lot of moving parts. Let's just put it that way. We'll change out our Ginter Queen graphic. Okay. 
Okay, we will update that. That is updating, updating, and updating, and updating, and updating. Cool. Okay, now I'm going to reload here. See, this is why we need LQ. <laughs> well, this isn't the only reason we need an LQ, but this is why we need LQ. And yay, it worked. Fantastic. All right, now people won't be accidentally purchasing spots in breaks where they don't belong. All right, now I've got to actually add Alex into these breaks, and then we will get to get to crack in here. Alex, by the way, thank you very much for grabbing those spots and, and, and selling these out. Uh, we are due for a lot of fun and uh, really appreciate you grabbing those spots. Gonna be breaking all night long. I probably won't have to do this again, uh, this part of the the break, having to update the, the boards and stuff like that, unless we end up selling out the, uh, the high-end one. Oh my gosh, boy, imagine if we did that. <laughs> Okay, there's that. All right, one last thing to do. Get into Ginter Queen here. All right, you guys still with me? Because we are about ready to go here. All right. Who is ready to start cracking some wax? All right, we're going to get into our Elite Kings. We've got uh, only one break left available, and that's our high-end break. We've got 20 spots remaining, so if you want to grab any of those spots, if that sells out, we will break that as well. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be doing Elite Kings now. Uh, we will be doing uh, Heritage Archives after that, and then the fourth break of the night will be Ginter Queen. So... If you want to grab some spots in the high-end break, go to crackandwax.com slash shop, grab your spots, fill it up, and we will break it the first Saturday it gets sold out, including tonight. All right, so the Elite Kings break, that one is also a hybrid break. So that's uh, one random, or one pick your team and two random teams. Uh, this is what uh, our box looks like here of Diamond Kings. I'm going to head into... Random.org, and I'm going to randomize our teams first and get those assigned. Those are the remaining teams. We'll shake that up first. That's once, twice, three times. 
And we'll stick that into our team assignments here. And we'll get rid of that pesky bottom row that sometimes fills in. There are the break participants for Elite Kings. Once, twice, three times. Okay, now we'll take the back end of the teams that weren't assigned yet. We'll shake that up one more time. Once and twice and three times. Get rid of that again. And our 10 spot owners. One time, two times, three times. All right. Okay, here we go. This is the team assignment for Elite Kings. Alex, you've got the Blue Jays, Indians, Padres, Cardinals, A's, and White Sox. Chris M. with the Braves, Mariners, and Angels. Deb U. with the Dodgers, Phillies, D-backs, Astros, Mets, Rangers. Diane, you've got another good chunk tonight. You've got Cubs, Red Sox, Twins, Rays, Pirates, Marlins, Nationals, Reds, and Giants. Richard, you've got the Royals, Yankees, Brewers, Tigers, Orioles, and Rockies. Not a bad lineup, if you, if, you, if you ask me. Okay, let's make our team board. Okay. There, I don't know why that blacked out like that. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so we'll get our teams going in here, and then we will crack that wax like it's not been cracked in about 20 minutes. <laughs> There's the team board. All right, let's catch up. Seven, 19 spots on high end left now. Thank you, Richard. Well. All right, well, let's get going here. Let's take down the chat window, the teams. And we inspected the box of Diamond Kings before. Now, unless the high end break uh, sells out, uh, we won't have that kind of a lag again. We will just be assigning teams for the next two breaks. That's what happens when you're selling uh, you're selling spots as you're breaking. That's uh, that's what the big fish do out there. Eight cards per pack. Again, we're looking for two hits. Okay, here we go. Keep forgetting that Panini seals their cards on the other side as opposed to. Uh, tops, Billy Williams, Kyle Schwarber. Oh, and we've got a hit already. Oh my gosh. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello, Mark Grace, not in a Cubs uniform, but in a Diamondbacks uniform. Goodness. 11 of 25. Right out of the gate. Mark Grace, autograph, two pieces of bat, 11 of 25 for the Diamondbacks right away for debut. Thank you for your patience. Thank <laughs> <laughs> wow, that happened right away. Dang. How often do you see a Mark Grace hit an autograph for the Diamondbacks? I don't know that I've ever seen that. So congratulations, Deb. I know you're not in the chat room right now, but uh, if you do hop in tonight, you've got this to look forward to. Congratulations. Woo, nice. Uh, we'll put that right there so it's on screen. And, ooh, Hack Wilson. And then we've got, oh, I love these uh, originals of Pedro Martinez. Leo DeRocher, nice. Well, that, uh, well, <laughs> now that means we've only got one hit left in this box. <laughs> and I think, 
Oh, good. That's a decoy. Jeez. <laughs> Jim Thorpe, Brian Dozier, and the decoy. Kiki Kuehler, that's a framed. I love these framed cards, too. Uh, Johander Mendez, Tapia. Jim Bunning. Now, these these are the the one cards that I, uh, one set of cards in Diamond Kings that I think they could have used a little help, but uh, not bad. Myers, Tommy Henrich. That is definitely one way to start a break. That might actually be my first. I don't know. No other Mark Grace hits come to mind. That might be the first Mark Grace hit I've ever pulled. Piece of wrapper out of the way there. Pee Wee Reese, Josh Donaldson, uh, the richest man in Toronto. Nomar Garcia Para, there's hit number two. Well, we've pulled both hits. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No more Garcia Para. 18 of 49 for the Red Sox. And that's Diane. Congratulations, Diane. There you go. Well, unless this happens to be one of those boxes, uh, here's a Chris Bryant. Now, this. I know I pulled the Chris Bryant short print earlier in the year out of uh, out of Diamond King, so I'm not sure if this one is or is not. I don't think it is. I think the giveaway was the oval on the back. Well, that's going to be a tough one because now Josh Donaldson. Maybe that is. That might be the short print. That that might be the second Chris Bryant short print I've pulled this year. That very well may be. And if that is the case, the Cubs are Diane as well. If someone happens to be looking, uh, let me know if that is indeed the Chris Bryant short print. I think it might be. Because if I'm looking on the back, these are all rectangular. And the giveaway on short prints is that it's in an oval frame. So I think that I think that is. But if anyone has any confirmation for me, please let me know. All right, so the question is, do we have a hot box with extra hits in it? Those are never advertised, but uh, Panini is notorious for occasionally overloading their boxes with extra hits, which I'm totally awesome with. I love these cards. The Aurora cards are awesome. Paul Goldschmidt, love these cards. Oval frames are short print. Okay, so that that is a short print. Fantastic. All right. And just for verification, you saw it right there in the screen. Hero Habit agrees. We've got a framed Brian Dozier here. Alex Reyes. Kluber. And that's a short print, too. He's in an oval frame. Originals of Robin Yount, Carlos Martinez, and Earl Averill. So, Bryant and Kluber short prints. Nice. There was another, I thought there was another indicator on which cards were short print. And I didn't know if it was certain poses that gave it away or, but I know, pretty sure. Like Hero Habits said, that uh, it was the oval frames in the back is what, what the indicator were. So, Eagles are up 12 to 10 from what my phone just told me. Here's another decoy. John Smoltz. Chris Bryant. Now, this, see, there's the, the rectangular frame on that one, and I don't believe that is a different pose. No, I'm not going to do, yeah, I'm not going to dig around and, unless I happen upon it, but I don't think there was a different pose there. All right. Like Bryant has no glasses on for his. Oh, okay, so maybe that was a variation. Did 
Ted Williams. Babe Ruth, Artist Proof, 17 of 99. Well, that's not bad at all. That definitely is not bad. Uh, Yankees is Richard. Well, there you go, Richard. So I was just told that the stream dropped. Okay. Well, I've got it here now. So, all right. Are we? Are we both? Are we all? Are we all here? <laughs> uh, Babe Ruth, seventeen of ninety nine for Richard. Hey, Lorene's here. What's up, Dan? Uh, Dan, Nana. <laughs> there you go, Richard. Uh, tell Charlie that we just cracked that wax for you. Bill Dickey, this is a short print. Originals of Jim Palmer, Carl Ferrillo, and Justin Verlander. Well, Nana, we uh, pulled some pretty good hits out of Bowman. We uh, finished up the Bowman Mega Box. You missed about 20 minutes of me uh, fooling around with my website. And uh, we've already pulled the two hits out of Diamond Kings. So this is what we got so far. We've got a few more packs out of Diamond Kings left. This is No More Guards par. The first one we pulled was a nice Mark Grace... Uh, bat, uh, Relic Auto, numbered 11 to 25 for the Diamondbacks, which is awesome. And uh, no one has missed LQ yet. She, uh, she'll she be dropping in before she leaves. She's supposed to be leaving in a few minutes. And in fact, I hear her walking this way right now. Evan, what's up? How's it going? Put the chat room in here so everyone can see. Everyone is here. Everyone's here. Nana's here. Charlie's excited about Babe Ruth. Well, everyone should be excited about Babe Ruth, right? Billy Martin framed. Yeah, so if anyone wants to uh, watch the replay... Uh, <laughs> Go ahead and, and mark the uh, the time markers of when I start uh, futzing around with the website. <laughs> yes, go Vikings. I do. I agree with that, but only for this year of playoffs. Uh, I I hate to say it, Evan, but I am a Packer fan. I live in Minnesota, and I'm a Packer fan, and that's that's terrible of me. And I I know that. I realize that. You can blame that on my family. All right, we've got a Jackie Robinson short print. Brooklyn Dodgers. Justin Verlander, Aurora. I've said it before already in this break. I love these cards. These Aurora cards are awesome. Excellent job, Panini. Oh, hey, Nana, by the way, we haven't broken. We're doing the Box of Elite Extra Edition next, so don't move. Don't go anywhere, Nana. That's, if you guys don't know, Elite Extra Edition is her jam. All right, Edwin, Heine Grow, Decoy, DeGrom, Hunter Dozier, original of Ozzy Smith, Freddie Freeman, Chris Davis. Alex Bregman, framed. Pee Wee Reese, short print. I don't remember pulling this many short prints out of the last box I did. Catfish Hunter, Stan Usual, Daniel Murphy. All right, final pack of Diamond Kings. Uh, I haven't been. I, I do have a small stack of them sitting on my desk over there, and I'll just add to it with these. I actually used to, way back in the day, I used to use those for um, uh, custom cards. Michael Franco, Henley Ramirez, Matt Olson, 
Craig Biggio frame. This is low numbered, 4 of 49 for the Astros. And that goes to, well, let's get that in frame here, shall we? Uh, Astros goes to W. Congratulations on that, Deb. Memorable moment, Roberto Clemente. John McGraw and Carl Erskine. That does it for the Diamond uh, Kings portion of Elite Kings. Again, these are the, the hits from this one. The Nomar Garcia Para. 18 of 49. And the Mark Grace Diamondbacks. Auto Relic. Bat Relic. 11 of 25 for the Diamondbacks. All right, Nana. It's your main event right here. Are you even in this break? Laureen, are you not in this break? How the hell did that happen? Laureen. <laughs> I can't believe. Seriously, I cannot believe. How did that happen? All right, well, Laureen's not in this break. I can't believe it. But here you go, Lorene. This is this is your jam right here. This is this is what she came to see. Um, nice box, all sealed. Has the Panini shrink wrap on it. We are looking for eight autographs and two memorabilia cards per box on average. Five cards per pack. Five packs per box. This should be fairly relatively quick. Probably faster than my break between the uh, breaks was, uh, so far tonight. All right, well, one pack wanted to come out. Let's see if the rest are going to want to come out. There we go. There you can see I took all the packs out of the box. All right, here we go. Two hits per pack on average. And we start right out of the gate with Evan Steele. And if I remember correctly, all of these are numbered uh, no higher than 9.99. And we've got a 17 of 99 Tanner Hauk for Boston. This is die cut. And a Jake Thompson season ticket, Panini contender, uh, Contenders baseball autograph. Jake Thompson. Now, that says Boston, and that's going to go to Diane. Diane really getting some hits here tonight, starting with this uh, Boston. Jake Thompson, season ticket, Panini Contenders baseball autograph. Congratulations, Diane. Then we've got an A.J. Minter. Triple Relic, 53 of 99. And that is for Atlanta. And the Braves goes to Chris M. Congratulations, Chris. And then, frankly, Hurtado. Hero Habit says, I still got some good Diamond King hits on the site. Think that uh, Stan Musial Auto is still sitting. Yeah, that's a cut auto. So if, if you guys like Diamond Kings and uh, if you're a fan of Stan Musial, uh, Hero Habit has actually pulled uh, Stan Musial Cut Auto from Diamond Kings. Uh, yeah, head over to his website. Pick that up. Somebody wake Nana up. She's missing all the fun. Griffin Channing. Curie Washington, numbered 161 of 200. Get that closer to the camera there. Then we've got a on-card die-cut auto of J.B. Bokaskas for Houston, 10 of 25. That is a crisp, well, we'll call it an autograph. It's nice and crisp, though. Uh, Houston, 
Whoops. Astros goes to Deb U. Congratulations, Deb. Behind that, we've got a Baltimore Cody Sedlock quad relic numbered 55 of 99. And the Orioles is Richard B. Richard, are you still out there, Richard? You've got a quad relic of Cody Sedlock, number 55 of 99. Congratulations, buddy. And then Carlos Soto after that. D.L. Hall. Then we've got Jake Berger, numbered 131 of 150. This one is not die cut. And for Miami, we've got an on-card auto of Joseph Dunand. That goes to Diane as well. And behind that, for Chicago, Luis Robert. Status auto, die cut, 5 of 35. And that looks like it's going to be white socks. I'm just basing it on the colors in the back. And if that is the case, then that will go to Alex T. Alex T, I believe this is yours. And if it is the Cubs, it would be Diane's, but I do believe this is for Alex. And then Sully Matthias. Two more packs to go. I feel like we've got a relic card in this one since we got two autos out of the last one. Or maybe it's a decoy. <laughs> of course it would be. Uh, Evan White. We've got Jake Berger again. This time it's an orange Aspirations. 13 of 100. And we've got a die cut auto. And that is kind of a streaky auto of Tyler Freeman. Die cut 46 of 75. It is on card though, and it is for the Indians in Cleveland tonight. Belongs to Alex T. Alex, this is definitely yours. We know that for sure. Congratulations. Ooh, now this is going to be a fun one to figure out. This is a USA Baseball Riley Gilliam Jumbo Auto. A silhouette auto. This is a collegiate national team numbered 6 of 10. Baseball card guy, how long did it take me to finish that background? Are, uh, are you talking about the keep cracking that wax, that thing back there? Uh... Actually, a friend of ours, here, let me finish this real quick and then I'll let you know. Um, if he has yet to be drafted by anybody, uh, by the time I sort this, uh, I will randomly select someone uh, to receive this uh, from this break. So congratulations to somebody. That is big time. Very big. Uh, Zach Granite. Behind that. Okay, so here's the story on the background uh, for a baseball card guy. So uh, every year we do a an Allen and Gitcher charity case break, and it's it's not to use hyperbole, but it's it's true. It's huge. It's it's our biggest uh, charity case break every year that we do, and part of that is uh, a lot of collectors will donate uh, things to uh, what I call a charity prize pack, and one of our longest uh, and most loyal collectors uh, at Crack and Wax put this together as part of the prize pack. And the person that won it allowed me to keep it. So I, I have no idea how long it took her to put that together. But the person that won it wanted me to keep that. And I just I was so blown away, not only at the the uh, generosity of the person that put it together, but the generosity of the person that, that let me, that I didn't even ask. They just said, no, that belongs to you. I want you to have it. So, yeah, I'm sure it took quite a while. 
Uh, we were told that Riley Gilliam, put it up in the chat room, is on the Clemson Tigers and is still unsigned. Uh, also undrafted. Will Gaddis, 25 of 25 for Colorado. Who has Colorado tonight in this break? The Rockies goes to Richard. Richard, you're getting some nice low-numbered mojo out of this. Congratulations. The nicest player. Ah, boy. Boof Bonzer. No, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm looking. There's a, well, there's a Paul Goldschmidt up there. Um, there's a, who else do I see up there? Well, there's LQ, her autographs up there. Uh, Gallardo, Giovanni Gallardo. Um, Justin Morneau. Madison Bumgarner might be the nicest one up there. Nick Swisher's up there too. Uh, we've got our final decoy out of this one. Uh, then we've got a Luis Garcia, 47 of 50 for Philadelphia. And I believe the Phillies is going to debut. Congratulations. Who said chat room mojo? Richard said chat room mojo. You said it before I did. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we've got 150 Panini rewards points. Well, we'll consider that a hit of some sort. Well, LQ is here to give us guff as we're pulling our final card of the second break. <laughs> Jose Hernandez International. I was here. See, she she made her. It counts. It, it counts. Are you on your way out the door? I am. She's, so you missed uh, about 20 minutes of me messing with the website while I was doing a little oh, live break. So there was that. We did fill out two of the remaining three breaks. So I've got two more breaks to do after this one. Okay. So everyone say hi. LQ's here. I like how you yelled that louder as if you were now far away from them. This is true. And uh, you're too far away from the mic for them to hear what you just said. Alex says hi, LQ. Hey there, Alex. And uh, let it be known. Come read this. Okay. He said it before I did. I didn't say it. Oh, he said it. That's yeah. Richard. So that's his son, Charlie. Okay. Is the one that kept saying crap Charlie that last. Charlie is the only one that's approved to say chat room mojo from now on. Charlie... You have the license. Charlie has has been given approval by LQ. You can say chat room mojo from now on. Okay, and that's the last time you'll ever be able to utter that. Though. Richard says hi, LQ. No, yeah. no. Hey, Richard. All right. Well, LQ is gonna. I'm getting out of here. She's that was that was her appearance for the night. That she's was it, guys. She's not paid by the hour. So. All right. All right. Well, have a fun time. Hey, Charlie, keep cracking that wax. <laughs> All right. All right See you tonight. Sounds good. All right, let's uh, recap the hits. Now, did Panini mean for those 150 points to be counted as a hit? I Believe it or not, I've, I have yet to pull uh, a points card. I don't think any. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boy, they sure did. <laughs> they sure did count that as a hit. So I will have to randomly select a winner. Oh, boy. Did I just do the dumb thing? All right. Well, nobody look at that. Uh, Luis Garcia. Riley Gilliam. We'll figure out who gets that. Tyler Freeman. Luis Robert. Joseph Dunand. Cody Sedlock. J.B. Bukowskis. A.J. Minter. And Jake Thompson. All right, that does it for break number two. Find my Diamond Kings box. We'll get everything set in here, so I'll not get everything all mixed up. Now that's handy. Boy, that's that's nice. Hey, I didn't know that <laughs> I I was thinking there was a scratch off. I didn't even see it back there. You guys be nice. Be nice. All right. 
right, well, we'll just keep that like that. All right, I need one moment here. I'll take off the team board since that is not for this upcoming break. We were going to do Heritage Archives next. This is also going to be a hybrid break. So that is also pick one team, get one random team. Now I have to uh, actually set that board up. Well, I hope everyone's having a fun time. It's a, kind of an experiment here. We, we, we haven't run breaks like this before. So I'm actually kind of excited to do it like this. Okay. Let's see here. Now we've got that all set up. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's uh let's start randomizing some shit, eh? Or I'm sorry, some stuff. Boy, there's a kid in the room and I just swore. I am so sorry. My apologies. My apologies. All right, that's once, twice. Three times for the Heritage Archives break. Go into our team assignments, slap those in there, get rid of that pesky extra row. We will grab our spot owners, all 10 of them, not just the first nine, but all 10 of them. That would be nice if uh, we didn't screw that up <laughs> once, twice, three times eventually there we go put that in there we'll take the final 10 teams here once twice three times get rid of that last one and take you folks, and we'll random shake you up, randomize you, toss you around. Okay. All right, here we go. Who's ready? Who is ready? Here are the assignments. Alex, you've got the Blue Jays, Nationals, Red Sox, Marlins, Mariners, Brewers, Mets, Reds, and Tigers. Chris M. with the Braves, Royals, and Giants. Deb U., you've got the Angels, Dodgers, Phillies, Orioles, Padres, Rockies, Rangers, White Sox, and Pirates. John, uh, John Waterman has the Cubs, A's, and Indians. Richard, you've got the Yankees, Rays, and my twins. You've got my twins, buddy. Uh, and Vilma with the Astros, D-backs, and Cardinals. And we'll make our team board. Okay. And 
will throw that team board into the video producer. And there it is. All right, so after I swore, Richard said he's heard worse from his mom, of course. <laughs> Got to start putting these breaks on eight-second delay since Andrew Dice Clay can't keep the language clean. Ha ha, I guess we are all bad at times. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Especially when you live with LQ. That's just how things are. All right, let's crack that wax. First up, we're going to do our box of heritage. Only one hit. A real one autograph or relic card in every box. Check this out. 24 packs per box, nine cards per pack. Looks good to me. And uh, we will be doing a Topps Heritage char uh, Charity. Let's start that over again, shall we? Uh, we will be doing a Topps Heritage Charity. I cannot talk right now. A Topps Heritage Charity Case Break later this year. That was part of our Topps bundle. Um, I haven't decided on the charity for that one yet. So if you have any ideas for that, please uh, please let me know your thoughts. All right, we got a box topper here. It's a three baseball cards in one panel. I will ship that upon request. Um, if you do not want it, you don't have to have it. But that one, uh, the the panels, the toppers, they are ship upon request. Let's see what it is first. All right, our ad panel is Scott Shebler, Carlos Ruiz, and Danny Valencia, former twin. So that is our ad panel. That's what the back looks like. There is no code on the back for you to steal. Going to kind of go through these. Uh, since we're only looking for the one autograph, on, there are some short prints and things to look for as well. If anyone sees something that I miss, um, please let me know. I have a pretty a pretty good idea of what to look for in the in the short prints. Irvin Santana uh, before the haircut. That's an older picture. And we've got a chrome of Cole Hamels. Now, I, it, what is that? Is that an ink mark? Or is that his, is that his face? <laughs> you guys see that? It, I can't tell if that's a pen mark or if that's just his face. I'm, I don't want to touch it because I don't want to accidentally smudge whatever that might be. Gosh, it almost looks like someone took a pen to his face. How weird. Well, that's a refractor of Cole Hamels. That's number uh, 208 of 568. Uh, <laughs> and the Rangers is uh, debut, so she's going to have fun with that one. Congrats, I guess. Uh, we've got a Rediscover Tops, uh, Jimmy Jones behind there. Oh, well, speaking of Debbie, there's her Chase Utley. She loves her Chase. Wow, when did he get a cut on the cheek? I know. That's, that's, I, I have no idea what that was. That just looks weird. I I think LQ heard how many boxes we were breaking and she decided to make plans. So <laughs> can't blame her. Can't blame her. But until I buy her a mic, oh, we've got a hit back here. This might be the hit. Um, no, wait. Now we were supposed to get. 
oh, look for it. No, it's not a guaranteed auto. I forgot the rules. This is one hit, period. It doesn't have to be an autograph. So here it is. It is Ian Kinsler. It is a jersey swatch for the Tigers. And that goes to Alex. Alex, you got the one hit out of Heritage. Clubhouse Collection. Congratulations, sir. That is all you. Josh Donaldson again. Flashback. Civil Rights Giant Slain. That is apropos, given that Martin Luther King uh, Day is on Monday. Hip hip Jorge. Mookie Betts. All right. Stack number one is coming to a close here. Mad Bum. Flashback. Apollo 8 makes space travel history. All right, that is stack. <laughs> Seriously, stack number one. How not to run a break? Brought to you by Crack and Wax. But hey, at least I brought my garbage bag this time. <laughs> And we got a chrome. This one is not a refractor. This is a base chrome of Jean Segura or Jean Segura. I think it's Jean known. Segura. Sean Doolittle. Sean Doolot. And we got a fly out. That must be the worst of <laughs> these cards to get. Uh, poor guy. I suppose it had to go to somebody. I have not seen any short prints yet like i say if you guys spot one this is where um this is where ross comes in handy if he were in here tonight he can just sniff those suckers out johnny bench flashback Performers, Jose Altuve. Ichiro. Been 
but it's not because the short prints would be the action variations, not the I'm just standing there posing for the camera variation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perkins. A blue foil rediscover tops, Jimmy Williams manager card. Trout. And the final car or pack in stack number two. Home run leaders, camera maven. Okay. Here we go. Get through this stack, then we'll head over to archives. Nothing really doing there. Some guy asked me a little while back, do you have to ship all the base cards? I I, I get it. I, I get that there are a lot of breakers that, that, that don't ship base. There's a Tom Hankey bronze rediscover tops foil. Um, and I get it, but I've never gotten that question before. Well, yeah, I ship all the base. I ship everything. They're your cards. You bought them. I guess if you don't want them, you don't have to have them. But I was like, they don't. They didn't know what to do with them. You know, I don't know what to do with all those cards. And that's fine. I get it. I I get it. Strike out. It, I, I guess in a good way, since that's a pitcher. Not that he struck out. Noah Syndergaard. Uh, followed by another Noah Syndergaard insert. So congratulations to Noah Syndergaard, I guess. Good for you. I think we've got a short print here. I think that is a reverse color. Check the code at the bottom. That is seven four and six seven. So yes, we do have an Eric Hosmer short print for the Royals, and that is Chris M. There you go. Johnny Ray, Rediscover Tops. This is a silver foil. We're almost finished up here. A few more packs to go. Gene Segura, New Age Performers. All right, last pack of Heritage. Then you guys can all wake up. Then we'll get uh, archives started. Then and now, Fergie Jenkins and Max Scherzer. Wellington Castillo is the final card for Heritage. Well, there we go. All right, Alex T, I believe, if I remember correctly, this is your Ian Kinsler. Tigers, yes, that is correct. Congratulations on that. We'll get these put away. We haven't lost the video feed again, have we?
I did see that a few breakers are having uh, having a time with YouTube. Hero Habit says, we still see you, and I'm refraining from making the tired old John Cena joke. Uh, Tops Archives is up next as part of the Heritage Archives break. All right, so we're looking for two on-card autographs per box. Find exclusive Derek Jeter retrospective cards. All right, looks pretty good. Okie doke. Same team assignment since this is the same break. Then we'll move on to Ginter Queen. Again, we'll just be focusing on any any cards of interest. Like that Andy Pettit Astros card. I, I that's one thing that I really appreciate about archives is they are not afraid to give you uh, cards of players in uh, uni like uniforms you're not used to seeing them in, uh, such as Reggie Jackson in an Orioles uniform. And there it is. See, I, I was just talking about this card. <laughs> I was just talking about this. Nolan Arenado. Rob Manfred. Uh, well, it is what it is, folks. They had commissioner cards back in the day, so why not in archives? Jose Canseco. Although, I, if I remember correctly, did somebody say this was actually Ozzy's photo? I think it was. If Tanner or, or Mario were in the chat room, they'd, they'd, uh, they'd be able to say. I think that was the case. Please send all your Manfred cards to me for a public destroying. See, I, I love the attention, and this is on one of my. Uh, this is actually on my archives gut reaction that they did such a good job at matching the, the the tone and the theme of the counterpart. So the ninety, what is this? The ninety two design, I think. Such an excellent job. Oh, nice. Bowman Mini, of Nolan Ryan. Cool, very nice. Ozzy Smith Padres. Always appreciate seeing that. See, I just love this kind of photography. I, and when uh, we have a, some of us know her very well, Suze, um, she uh, is more a uh, stadium club that she's in charge of. She, she picks out excellent photography, just like this photograph that's used on this uh, Adam Eaton Nats card. So I, I appreciate that kind of um, detail. There we go. Oh, nice. Terry Mulholland. On card auto. Fan archives. Fan favorites archives uh, auto. This is numbered 36 of 75 for the Phillies. And I'm going to bet that this is going to go to debut. 
Let's put up the correct window here. There we go. Phillies is W indeed. Congratulations, Deb. Nice. That's beautiful. That is just beautiful. Congratulations, Deb. He's not even here. Oh, well. Uh, well, that's one out of two autographs out of this box already. And uh, starting off pretty nicely. Eagles beat the Falcons on a fourth and goal of 115 to 10. I did not see that coming. Congratulations, Eagles. I'm, I'm sure that's why uh, Deb's not in the uh, chat room. That's what's going on. And I'm sure that's why Kevin uh, ducked out of here earlier. So congrats to the Eagles. Wow. Did not see that coming. It's going to make the game between the Vikes and the Saints uh, a little more interesting, I think. Uh, see, there's one of those Derek Jeter cards. Now, the, I had an issue with this. Um, these Jeter cards, for whatever reason, seem to be a bit thinner and stickier, and they're they're easy to miss. Uh, but this is one of his retrospect, uh, retrospective reprint cards. Well, yeah. So it's cool, but uh, they can get lost in the shuffle as you're breaking your packs open. Bowman Mini of Omar Vizquel. And a salmon, a pink salmon <laughs> parallel of Paul Goldschmidt. That is numbered 39 of 199. Diamondbacks is Vilma. So you get the, or is that a, a Mother's Day pink? I don't know what they determined that. That is not centered very well, though. I will say that. All right, we are... Almost halfway through our archives box. And we've got a blue parallel of Justin Bauer. That is number 25 of 75. I don't know if you can see that there. That's for the Marlins. And the Marlins is Alex. Congrats, buddy. All right, halfway through archives. Then I'm going to check to see how many spots are left in the high-end break. Maybe we can squeeze that in tonight, too. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, I think it would be. I was gonna periscope it last night, and it would have been it would have been amazing because it would have been a, a genuine reaction. I, I showed LQ the, the box of Dynasty that I bought for the high end break, and and uh, she she's not aware of what Dynasty is. She doesn't know anything about it. And I said, "Hun, this is a three hundred and seventy dollar box of cards." And that's exactly how I put it. I said cards, and she looked at it, and she's just her her jaw dropped. She's like, "I don't what." I said, oh, I misspoke. There's one card in here. And she started, she like almost flipped out. Like, what the hell? Why, what, $370 for one card for a box? How are they, how dare they, you know, you know and of course, Dynasty is not even the worst of it all uh, as far as that kind of thing goes. But man, I totally should have Periscope. That was just the most amazing, like, organic reaction that LQ could have possibly given for that scenario. And <laughs> 
Uh, Senator's Harmon Killebrew card. That's cool. I just wish I would have had that on camera. Bowman Mini of Ozzy Smith. Of course, I'm of the mindset that, you know, Tops is a business, and if it sells, sell it. And sell it for whatever price that uh, people are willing to pay. I mean, that's, that's what the American economy, or American economy is all about. Now, um, am I going to buy, like, uh, a $27,000 box of cards? No. Will I run a group break on it? Well, if if the demand is there, if that's what you guys want, then then well then yeah. But but for myself, no, no, I've, I've I pull, I broke, I ain't got that kind of cash. I think we've got an autograph. It's Manny Mota. Oh, nice, Manny Mota, Dodgers auto. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's good. That is really nice. Dodgers tonight. Debut. Debut with the sweep of the archives box. Nice. How about that? Congratulations, Deb. Her Eagles won tonight. She's doing well in the break. Awesome. Manny Mota. I think that was the last pack of that stack, too. All right. Aaron Judge, Chris Bryant, Sandberg. Yeah, she'll be surprised. She'll be very surprised. <laughs> well, she gets that one too. There's another one of those Jeter cards, which I actually found this time. This is the 2008 design, I believe. One of the uglier designs. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, the 2008 set was known best for the George Bush in the stands, like photoshopped into the stands gimmick. If I am not mistaken. Also, two nice ones for Deb. Um, that's what she said. Bowman Mini of Corey Seeger. Second to last pack. Another one of them Salmon Parallels, Trevor Story. This is for the Rockies. This is numbered 97 of 199. Rockies is Deb U. Deb U again. Boy. Doing real well on this break. Final pack of archives. Final one for the Heritage Archives break. Then we will move right along to the Ginter Queen break. And that, hello, that is a large Frank Thomas. And that does it. <laughs> All right, so let's recap. The Archives hits, two of them, both go to W. A fantastic Manny Mota. 
as well as a blue parallel of Terry Mulholland. Phillies is her team. Dodgers has become her team ever since Chase Utley uh, went over that way. So congrats to Deb on that. Well, everybody, how you doing? I'm going to guess that uh, we lost a few. But, uh, Alex, I'm sure you're still uh, hanging in there. Now, Toronto, I'm going to guess... Uh, no, wait, you're not up that way, are you? I know you're in Canada, but are you closer to Toronto? Or are you just a fan of the Blue Jays? You can keep all the Twins cards for your PC if you want them instead of sending them to me. Well, that is awfully generous of you, sir. I will probably forget that by the time I start sorting these, but I do appreciate that. I will I will do that if I remember to. All right, you're closer to Detroit, so I'm, I'm guessing that the reason you're a Blue Jays collector is out of loyalty to your country. <laughs> All right, now let's see here. Checking our orders. Make sure we're all caught up with everything here. Taking a look at, uh, to see where our super high-end break is, just in case we need to do anything with that one. I'm actually gonna really quickly update that one and then we'll head on to the next one here. Well, looks like we do have a few more sold, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly update these. If you guys want to hang on for a second here, Just love doing administrative work while I'm also hosting a break. <laughs> See, LQ could be off to the side doing this part of it. Nope.
Ooh, well, we don't have many spots left now for for the high end one. I'm not saying we will break it or uh, fill it by the uh, end of this break, but we're gonna get awfully close. All right, whoops, that's not the one I wanted. All right, I'm gonna quickly update this uh, graphic here and then you'll see exactly how many spots we have remaining. And then we'll get to doing the Genter Queen break. There we have it. There are now only 16 spots remaining in our high-end five-box mixer, which we will break after the one that we're doing right now. We're doing the Ginter Queen break. That's one box of Allen and Ginter and one box of Gypsy Queen. If the high-end box break uh, does sell out by the time we finish this break, we will tear into that high-end break as well. If it does not sell out by the time we finish with the Ginter Queen break, um, we will break it uh, at the soonest next Saturday. Um, so if you want to break it tonight, if you want to see us break into those five boxes of high end, get those spots now. Go to crackandwax.com slash shop. All right. So Alex says, uh, closer to Detroit, always been a fan of the Jays and collects tigers because his parents are fans of them. Oh, well, that's very, very nice. You're you're a good boy. <laughs> you're a very good boy. All right, so we've got a box of Allen and Ginter. We've got a box of Gypsy Queen, and we're going to do the same exact thing that we did before um, with the archives. And I'm going to set up my board so that we can do that. Yeah, I know. Here we go again. <laughs> And we do have at least one new name in this one that we didn't have in the other breaks. And I love seeing new names in these breaks. Because that means that when the charity case breaks roll around, we have a better chance of raising a lot more money, which is... Awesome. Okay. Are we ready? I believe that we are. Okay, so let's uh, bring this over here. Bring that back up. Let's get to randomizing. We are in our Ginter Queen hybrid break. We're going to go to random.org and do the same exact thing that we've done before. Take our remaining teams and we'll shake them up, mix them around. That's three times. We'll head back here into our team assignment. We'll plop those there. We'll get rid of that unnecessary extra row that sometimes populates there we will randomize our break participants and then we will take the back 10 teams And then our original 10 break participants. Oh, 
All right, here we go. The team assignments for the Ginter Queen hybrid break are as follows. Alex O, not Alex T, but Alex O, you've got the Mets, Reds, and Rangers. Alex T, you've got the Angels, Blue Jays, Tigers, Rays, Cardinals, and Giants. Chris M with the Braves, White Sox, and D-backs. Deb U, you've got the Dodgers, Phillies, Nats, Orioles, Mariners, and Brewers. Kevin, you've got the Red Sox, Padres, and Indians. Richard, you've got the Yankees, Marlins, and Rocky, uh, Rockies. Uh, Richard, you've got the Cubs, Twins, and Pirates. Vilma with the Astros, A's, and Royals. Little screen grab here for our team board. Boom. And there's our team board for the Ginter Queen break. So remember, we've got two different Alexes in this particular break, so I'll try not to confuse everything here. <laughs> we will start with Allen and Ginter. We are going to be looking for three different hits. Uh, could be an autograph card, a relic card, a printing plate, a rip card, a book card, a bunch of different things. Um, sometimes Allen and Ginter will throw an extra case hit into a box. You never know. Um, everything's looking good. Everything We've got this... Nice little hologram there. Looks good to me. 24 packs, eight cards per pack. That includes minis. And potentially a box topper as, though, uh, as well there. And we do have a box topper. It's a one oversized box loader card. Let's see what we've got here. I will ship this upon request to whoever ends up with this. Unless it's a hit, then it'll automatically go. This is Buster Posey. Buster Posey box loader for the Giants. Alex T. As I mentioned, I will ship this upon request. If I remember correctly, you said you wanted the ad card. I don't know if that will go to you, but uh, I assume that if you wanted the ad card, you'd want the box loader as well. One of the reasons I paired Ginter and um, Gypsy Queen together was, uh, number one, they're basically the same type of product. And uh, they both have minis, and they both have box stoppers. So I thought it would be kind of easier to ship those together, so... Always have to do this with the mini here. Sally Perez. This is a black border parallel mini. What a day, Davis. Let's kind of keep the minis in their own pile. I think it's going to be easier on everybody. Jose Canseco. We've got a Wahoo and plastic skirted lures. By the way, the non items are going to be randomly assigned. On the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. What a day. Trey Turner. The giant panda. That used to be my nickname in college. 
World's Fair, the Sun Sphere. Hunting Guide Dude. And a buyback of Terry Pendleton. This looks like the bronze foil version. Probably going to be a hit in either this or the next pack. That's my guess. And it is this pack. Dat. Alexa Dat. That's what she said. No, that's literally what it says on the card. I'm not making a joke. All right, our first hit of the Ginter box is a relic, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Jonas Cespedes, a little bit of a stripe in there, too. That's for the Mets. Get that in there closer. Mets tonight is Alex O. Not Alex T, but Alex O. Congratulations, my friend. Actually, I believe Alex uh, bought this spot today. Nicely done. Mini, where are you, Mini? There you go. George Brett. Lindor on the run. What a day. Not Alex Q, but Alex O. A Constellation Mini. Love these. This one is Cygnus. And a Northern Pike and Large Spinner. Future Minnesota Twin, you Darvish. Followed by former Minnesota Twin, Harmon Kilbrew. Uh, speaking of twins, uh, you Darvish uh, insert. What a day. Nice. U.S. National Park Service Mini. World's Fair, The Great Wharf. Suck my ridges. That was a Family Guy joke for Tony. Tyler Glasnow... Black Border Mini. Carlton Fisk Silver. Rediscover Tops. Felix Hernandez. The King's Crowning Moment. What a day. Rainbow Trout and Spoon in a... There we go. Drew Pomeranz, Mini, Larkin, Zimmerman. All right, see what I have to put up with here. <laughs> I make a joke, and Tony... Whoops, Tony has this to say. Uh, and I laughed as hard as I do at the Family Guy. The Family Guy? 
the family guy what are you 50 the 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 next uh step in that is to add an s after guy the family guys so like when you go to kmart you're actually going to the kmarts you're getting there buddy you're getting there I should talk because I'm like 10, 15 years older than you anyway. So. <laughs> or not, oh. And just so we're keeping up here. He says uh, he's not as close to 50 as he is, big guy, LOL. I made that joke before you did. I know there's a lag. Whatever. <laughs> you wouldn't know it to look, though. Uh... <laughs> Marte. Monorail. There's a Simpsons joke in here somewhere for you, Tony. If you didn't like that Family Guy joke... Here's your Simpsons reference for the night. All right. Hit's going to be in here. What's it going to be? I wonder if we're going to pull something framed, maybe. No, no, not out of this one. Ah, I was wrong. Easy as one, two, three. Machado. All right, so maybe the hit will be in this one. Bust a move. Tango dance. I've never actually heard of the, the tango as being referred to as tango dance. I've always heard it, it called the tango. Or as Tony would say, the tangos. And Battle of Guilford Courthouse. All right, well, I was wrong. No hit in that stack. Imagine that, me being wrong. The Simpsons should be referenced constantly throughout every break. There's nothing on earth like a genuine bona fide electrified six-car monorail. <laughs> the fact that I read that without stuttering, that, that does it for the night. I'm good now. Thanks. <laughs> German Snow Patrol, dude. Current twin, Fernando Rodney. Dave Steeb. Bronze Rediscover Tops. National Park Service. Daniel Murphy. Dan's the man in 13 2 round. What a day. Hmm. Well, I still have two hits left here. And then we're on to Gypsy Queen, which I did not bust any of it uh, in 2017. I, I think I did a uh, a blaster of Gypsy Queen. Didn't do any hobby boxes or cases of Gypsy Queen last year. And I'm, I'm usually all about Gypsy Queen. But, uh, oh, there's the hit. There we go. Jackie Bradley Jr., Red Sox. Nice red swatch. Red Sox tonight goes to Kevin P., who was in the chat room earlier, but got, probably got distracted by his Eagles winning. Uh, so, uh, Kevin, if you end up back in the chat room or uh, catching the replay here, congratulations. You got one. Spotted Sea Trout and Twitch Bait. Another one of my old college nicknames. Oh, really? Hero Habit claims that you'd never know based on our break chat, but Chris and I actually kind of like one another. Uh, one another. Let, emphasis on kind of. You're getting a little mushy with that like talk, buddy. Let's scale it back a little bit, will ya? It's more like kind of tolerate. 
<laughs> Puig Mini. Ernie Banks, join the club. What a day. Hero Habit's just in it for the quirk. <laughs> Come for the wax, stay for the quirk. That's our, uh, that's that's the tagline we that I want to go with. She doesn't want to go with it because it doesn't sound, sound, sound right, but... <laughs> Aaron Judge rookie. Ferris wheel. One more hit. Is it going to be something framed? Oh, come on, mini card. There we go. Former twin, JJ Hardy. Lou Gehrig, what a day. And you could give or take the wax. I hear you actually do give or take the wax. All right, we've got a hit back here, and it's not framed, but it is a USA Baseball. Be interesting to see who that ends up being. Uh, DJ LeMahieu, Black Border, Mini. Bluegill and Spoon. All right. The final hit of this box is number 25 of 99. And it is... Susugo. So this might end up being... I don't believe... Yeah, he's on Team Japan. I don't believe he's uh, ever played uh, in the MLB. So we may have to randomly... Distribute this hit to someone in this break. So congratulations to somebody. It is number 25 of 99, however. And I do I do like that pinstriping. That is kind of cool. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, is Charlie still here? <laughs> this is getting dangerously close to being an after-hours uh, break chat. Um... Believe it or not, I was actually considering the possibility of doing a more adult-oriented, adult-themed, and I don't mean like, you know, take all your clothes off adult. I just mean like, you know, more PG-13, maybe kind of on borderline rated R, you know, just being a little bit more relaxed language. But it would have to be private. Like, I would have to, uh, you know, set up passwords and stuff like that make sure it's not uh, easily accessible to kids. But, uh haven't really gotten that far with it. <laughs> haven't really looked too far into it. Uh, nice expos, Robbie or Bobby Ramos. Uh, a blue foil rediscover tops. And uh, Brooks Robinson with uh, almost no bill on his uh, helmet. What a day. Well, Charlie, if, if Charlie's still hanging in there, we've got one more box to go. I hope he's not, uh, hope he's not conking out on us. Uh, Peterson. And the Atomium is the final Ginter card. Going to break some vintage Playboy cards for that break. Uh, um, if I could find some. I actually would be curious uh, how much those would cost, actually, now that I think about it. All right, so, oh, I suppose I should recap the hits. So this one will probably be randomly, uh, randomly distributed uh, amongst the participants in this particular break. The Jackie Bradley Jr., if I remember correctly, is going to Kevin. That is correct. And Alex O., not Alex T is getting this Jonas Cespedes for the Mets. Congratulations. All right, get these cards put away. And one last box, unless for some reason someone went in and 
took up the final spots in our high-end super random break. Now, if you're watching the live broadcast, if you've just hopped in, maybe you're not in the chat room, and you're like, well, what on earth is the high-end super random break? I will describe that in one moment. The high-end super random break would consist of five boxes of high-end cards from 2017. What I consider the best of 2017, uh, not only as far as content and design and checklist, but also as far as affordability goes uh, and a box of Dynasty. <laughs> ba -dum -ba. The reason why I call it a super random is I'm not just randomizing teams for the whole break. I'm randomizing teams for each box. So I would randomize all 30 teams for the dynasty box. And then I would randomize the teams again for just the triple threads and just the tributes and just the national treasures and just the museum collection. That's why I call it a super random. And that's why I think it's going to be one of the, one of the more fun breaks uh, we have done to date. Um, not only because, I mean, the high-end cards are, they're really awesome sometimes. Sometimes they're a little bit blech, but uh, these are these are the best of uh, what I think they put out in 2017. They're definitely not overwhelming. Uh, overwhelming. They look amazing. The content is is on point, and I don't I, I don't use that term lightly. I'm not a millennial, um, so let's see. And it does look like. I'm just going to double check my orders here. See where we're at. All right, so we are indeed All right, we are indeed still sitting on 16 spots so if you are here in the chat room and if you want us to bust open this break these five boxes those 16 spots need to go so just go to crackandwax.com slash shop pick up a spot pick up 16 spots pick up as many spots as you want if this sells out by the time we finish this last box we will run this break if not we'll do it another time so just letting you know those are the spots that are available that is our super random high-end break. But for now, we are going to get into our Gypsy Queen box. And unless this one sells out, this will be the final box of the night. And then it is going to be Sort City for me. Gypsy Queen. All right. 24 packs. Eight cards per, uh, per, <laughs> per pack. We're looking for two on-card autographs per box. And again, as I mentioned, I did not do any uh, hobby Gypsy Queen this year. But uh, it turned out that that uh, probably was a mistake. This uh, ended up being a um, really popular item in 2017. And I usually do Gypsy Queen. I usually do Gypsy Queen. And uh, I th if I remember in the past, uh, Hobby Boxes usually had four hits per box. This time it's only two. But they're autographs. All right, so we're going to very, very, very gently, because I see we've got a, a Glassworks Chrome Box Topper. Awesome. Let's see who we've got. Again, this is ship on request, and I'm I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume that uh, whoever gets this is gonna want me to ship this. And it already looks beautiful. Ooh, it's Madison Bumgarner, Mad Bum. Doesn't that look beautiful? That is a gorgeous. 
hold it like that so I don't get my crack and wax fingers all over it. All right, so the Giants. That is Alex T. So you got both box toppers, buddy, out of this break, if I remember correctly. What was that, Posey? Yeah, you got the Posey. So two Giants box toppers. What are the odds? One in 30. <laughs> but dum bum All right, so we will put that off to the, the shiny off to the side. Nice and refractory. I'm just going to keep this graphic up here for now. So if you are watching live, that's what we've got left. If that sells out, we will break it. If not, we'll do it a diff uh, another night. My first hobby pack of Gypsy Queen this year. And first hobby card is Joe Maurer. And his new teammate, you Darvish. I'm, I better not be jinxing that. <laughs> now that I say it, we've got a hand drawn art of um, Noah Syndergaard. See, I, they did. I did. I think now one of my gripes before uh, early in the year was the feathered border, and it's not bugging me as much as it did originally. Otherwise, it's. I like the design. I think it's really nice looking. Now, watch. I probably did a gut reaction earlier in the year and forgot all about it, and I probably hated it. So, <laughs> uh, Ramel Tapia rookie card. Of course, there are short prints and variations in here. Hero Habit agrees. He likes this design a lot as well. Ah, this is a variation. This is easy to pick out. This is the uh, missing plate that's done on purpose of Julio Teheran for the Braves. And the Braves is Chris M., The hints of color in the border ornaments are really nice in person. Manny Margo rookie card. Jose Altuve. Fortune teller mini of Jose Altuve. Not Chris D, but Chris M. You know, I know you're you're joking around. However, there are actually two Alexes in this break, and that's why I mention it, because Alex T is in the chat room. That's Zegras, and Alex O is not in the chat room. <laughs> uh, whistles reverse one. Um, huh? Yeah, I'll put that up in the so everyone can see what I'm reacting to. Zegras says, whistles reverse one. So uh, explain yourself, sir. Huh? All right, here's an upside down Xander Bogertz. I am going to check the codes, which are really almost impossible to see. So there's, yeah, it's nothing special there. Did a full case of GQ and pulled exactly two complete sets of the fortune teller set. No extras, no dupes. Whoa, wow. Come on. There we go. You can do it. Hey, we've got a negative variation of Masahiro Tanaka. Numbered 48 of 50 for the Yankees. 
And the Yankees is Richard. That is nice. Congratulations, Richard and Charlie. That's how we crack that wax. All right, let's see if we can pull our first autograph. Not, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Yes, that is a nice card. Hey, Mike's here. So Mike wants to know if uh, there were any big hits tonight. I would say, to this point, my favorite hit, I don't know if it's the biggest hit, was the uh, Mark Grace um, double bat relic autograph for the Diamondbacks. Not the Cubs. The Diamondbacks. That, to me, was my favorite hit so far tonight. There we go. We got an Adam Cromley on-card autograph for Miami. And the Marlins tonight goes to Richard. There you go, buddy. Awesome. That is our first GQ Auto. And it goes to Richard. Congratulations, my friend. Retired twin, Bartolo Colon, and former twin, Wilson Ramos. So those who are still in the chat room here, Hero Habit, Zegris, Richard, uh, what do you consider the the best hits so far tonight. Michael is inquiring what your opinion is. Let's see what you've got to say. Hand drawn art of Chris Bryant. Fortune teller, Dansby Swanson. Alex Reyes, rookie. And we've got a missing plate variation of Martin Prado. Again for the Marlins. Richard, that's you again. Richard, you you are doing well so far in this uh, particular box. Congratulations, buddy. Got some real fun stuff to look forward to. Aaron Judge, rookie. Nice. Well, Michael, I'm sorry. It doesn't doesn't look like uh, Zegris or Richard or Hero Habit would want to tell you what their favorite hit so far were tonight. That's oh, all right. I told you what mine was. So, and a purple border parallel of Wade Davis. That is numbered eighty of two fifty. And the Cubs goes to Richard G. I'm going to assume that his last name is pronounced the same way that Dylan G's last name is, since it's spelled the same. It could be G, but I think it's G. Richard G is new to Crack and Wax. Congratulations, sir. Nice parallel for you. That grace was cool. It was a very cool card, yeah. You 
You know what? I wish I could do this every Saturday night. I'm having a blast. This is fun. Grace is the best hit so far, but I think the biggest might be the next one in this box. Don't jinx, uh, jinx yourself, Richard. Now that you say that, it probably will go to Debbie or somebody. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was yeah that uh, USA Auto of Riley Gilliam was very nice. Brad Ziegler, he's a hobby friend. Oh, we've got a blacklist. This is a different variation as well. So you can see the nameplate is missing there. Or I don't know if it's blacklist, but it's a missing nameplate. That's what it is. Not the blacklist. It's the missing nameplate. Uh, it is Hunter Pence for the Giants? Well, we know the Giants is going to Alex T because he's got the. Bumgarner Glassworks box topper. Very nice. Congratulations on that one. Mike says, I'd have bought the twin spot for this one in the last few, but I've got Twins Fest I, coming up. Yeah, I understand you completely. I, uh, man, uh, it, Twins Fest is not cheap. I mean, getting the tickets for that is, you know, that's not the, that's not the expensive part. It's, Everything, once you get into Twins Fest, is what's not cheap, especially if you're chasing autos, which is what I did for quite a while. And, yeah, I, I'm glad I got the autos that I did. But, man, it is, it's an investment, and it's a fun time. It's a very fun time. And I do suggest going to Twins Fest or whatever team fest that might be going on at your local ballpark. Uh, Max Scherzer, Fortune Teller. Final stack. This could be the final stack of the night. Let me check the orders here. Oh, we already sold that one out. There we go. That's the one we want. Okay. Do I need to make an update? No, we are still hanging at 16 spots left. All right. Well, this will probably do it for the night then. That means we have uh, we have that high-end break to look forward to uh, uh, another time. But at least it's, uh, it's about half sold out, which is excellent news. Won't be much longer till it gets completely sold out. Then we'll get that broken. Hand-drawn art, uh, hand art of Mark McGuire. Richard says our Royals Fan Fest is usually fun, but you have to wait about two hours in line for an auto, and they don't tell you who's coming out to sign until they bring the player out. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Mike Trout, Eric Cosmer, Ben Intendi, Zach Cozer. And we've got another missing uh, plate variation. This is of Evan Longoria for the Rays. That goes to Alex T., so Alex T. and Richard pretty much uh, owning this box. But Richard thinks that the hit of the night is tucked away somewhere in this box. And by the looks of things, he might be right. So I'm going to actually hold on to this. We've got something, we've got something juicy in here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to save this right there. And uh, that'll probably be the final hit of the night, unless for some reason those spots go. And hey, if you've got any wax box left over, that's, uh, that's a good break to, to spend them on.
Fortune Teller of Gary Sanchez. Final pack, and then we'll see what our final hit of the night is. Is Richard going to be correct? We have a purple border of Corey Dickerson for the Rays, and that is Alex T. Congratulations. Numbered 14 of 250. Okay. Let's see what we got. Our final hit of the day. Very nice time breaking tonight. Short of three hours breaking, and about one hour of that was me doing administrative clerical work. <laughs> and two hours of actual breaking. So thank you very much for all of you guys for hopping in the chat room, especially buying up spots uh, that allowed us to do these breaks. You guys, seriously, there's no way, I say this all the time, no way I'd be able to have this much fun if it weren't for you guys allowing me to open your Christmas presents for you. This is this is fantastic. Okay. Here we go. Some of you might have already seen it. I know I did. It's a Joe Panic Giants. On card auto relic. That goes to Alex T. Congratulations, Alex. That is numbered one of 50. You can sell that as an eBay one of one, my friend. Yes, that is awesome looking. All right, so Richard, remember you've got the Adam Cromley and Alex with the Joe Panic. Nice, nice, nice. That may do it for the night. Let me double check. Yep, that is going to do it. All right. Well, we do still have 16 spots available in our high-end five-box super random break. We will uh, we will do that the first Saturday after it sells out. So um, anytime between now and, and next Saturday, if it sells out by then, we will break it next Saturday. Um, other than that, that's all we've got on the website for spots, I will be posting our uh, top Series 1 charity case break uh, spots uh, eventually uh, coming up here. I'm kind of waiting to see when the checklist comes out. Should be coming up pretty soon, so we'll get that. And the invoice is out for the, uh, the bundle spots for Series 1 as well. So if you've got bundle spots on that, uh, be sure to keep your eye out uh, for invoices uh, once those go out. I... We'll probably send out an email just so you're not uh, surprised by it. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for coming tonight. If you watched the replay, uh, hey, uh, what did you think of uh, these boxes? Uh, let me know. There's a poll that should be coming up here at the top of this video, uh, somewhere around my finger. Um, and if you have any comments about this break, uh, about me, about why uh, LQ should actually be the one on the mic instead of me, uh, comment below in the comments here if you're doing this on YouTube. Uh, otherwise, we'd love to see you again next Saturday. Let's get this break sold out. Have a great weekend, everybody. If you're watching football, go Vikes, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and as always, Charlie, say it with me. As always... Keep cracking that wax. Have a good night, everybody, and hopefully we'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.